Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome to my channel. Now in a lot of my videos recently I have been getting a lot of questions on how I have uh, cleared my acne marks and what I have been doing to clear the marks, fade out the marks and things like that. So I thought why not just share an in-depth video explaining what are the products that I have been using and also the steps that I have inculcated in my skincare routine which is really making a difference. But before I start this video I feel like I need to put out a disclaimer because I do see a lot of negative comments on skincare videos in general. I am no skincare expert, I am only going to share the things that I have been using and the products that have been working out for me personally. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, cleansing and not just cleansing, it's double cleansing now and it's not very recently that I've been doing this. I had been doing double cleansing for a very long time now but now I've been just very very particular. So let me get started with the products that I've been using. So on the days when I don't have heavy makeup, I just have like a BB cream, a little bit of concealer and um, eyebrow product and just like very basic minimal makeup. I have been using these uh, simple uh, micellar waters. Now these are very very gentle. These do not remove your uh, like heavy duty makeup. These only get rid of your basic makeup which is why these come in handy when my skin does not need very harsh makeup removal process so on those days i use these but on the days when i have very heavy duty eye makeup full coverage sort of a foundation going on on those days i use garnier micellar water so that way we have gotten rid of most of our makeup like the initial layer of makeup and now it's time to really get in there and make sure that we don't have makeup clogging our pores now here is where it gets personal now you could be using your fingertips by that i mean your hands to remove your makeup and i had been doing that for majority of my life right like i was never really a cleansing brush sort of a person i was in cleansing brushes for a while but then i mean i did not really see a difference back then because i was not suffering from acne at that point in time but now I do feel the need to use a cleansing brush and I say that especially on the days when I have like a very heavy duty makeup on and I have seen a difference. I did a small experiment for one of the videos where I had applied makeup on a lemon and I washed half of it with my fingertips and the other half with a cleansing brush and I could clearly see that the side with cleansing brush uh, did a better job at removing every bit of it from the pores, pores of uh, lemon's pore. By the way, the brush that I have is from um, Miniso and the face wash, now I'm not very particular about face wash, I use clean and clear face wash and very recently I've been using the face wash from Simple. It's a very gentle face wash, very creamy in texture, forms very well. So uh, again, I'm not very particular about face wash, so I'm not going to be, you know, including that in this video because I change my face wash a lot. But if you really think, it's just something that stays on your face for a very little amount of time. So in my opinion, it does not make that huge of a difference. But again, do not use like a very harsh stripping face wash, use something which is very gentle. So that was my first step in my skincare routine and that is to really thoroughly deep cleanse my skin especially when I have like a lot of makeup going on. Now second step is to include a toner and this is something that I've been doing recently. I was never like a toner advocate. I would use toner from time to time and then I would forget about it. I was never really regular with this but now that I've included toner on a regular basis I can I can tell you the difference for sure and again I'm not uh, because I've only started using toners recently I do not have a lot of toner recommendations for you but like a few that I do have is this one from Biotique the honey water one um, Jiju pore tonic uh, toner that they have the Innis Innisfree one or is it the, the face shop one also the Neutrogena toner that comes in white and yellow bottle is really really good so all I do is just pour some of it on a cotton pad and just swipe it across all over my face especially on my t-zone because that's where I get a lot of whiteheads and blackheads so this has been really helping a lot I again do not um, get a lot of whiteheads or I do not get a lot of congestion around here 
like my skin used to be so congested on my t-zone which is not the case anymore i mean i still do it's not like it has completely made them vanish or something but i do not get those as often as i used to so definitely include a toner also when you are doing this step you would be surprised to see the tiniest bit of makeup that is still left after your double cleansing which happens with me most of the times i don't understand maybe because like i don't get on the inner corners of my eyes and also like on my hairline so when i do um, you know go around those areas with my toner i can like i can see the makeup so that's a great step you are not only um, prepping your skin for the next products that you're going to use you're also getting rid of the tiniest bit of makeup that was left on your skin okay moving on so this one product i've been really meaning to talk about in my videos so this is cocoa butter formula with vitamin e skin perfecting ultra hydrating serum this is from palmer's by the way if you have seen my haul you would know that i hauled this i think two months back if i'm not wrong and i've been using this ever since then and i am halfway through it so a little goes a long way with this i think this was for 900 or something and this promises a lot of things i don't know if i should be really reviewing it right now what do i do i mean i don't plan on reviewing this separately so let me just like get the outer packaging of this and just share a few things about this product so this says this is and this has encapsulated retinol hyaluronic acid um polyphenols cocoa butter and natural vitamin e so retinol of course encourages skin's renewal so it helps in uh, increasing your cells turnover number hyaluronic acid i just cannot pronounce it hyaluronic acid balances and retains moisture polyphenol suppresses inflammation cocoa butter moisturizes and so smooths and then also natural vitamin e protects from oxidation so it says something like this is encapsulated retinol so it says retinol is an essential part of an effective anti-aging routine retinol helps to stimulate skin's natural production of collagen helping recover and retain a smoother texture all over firmness and even skin tone this multi-level potency can sometimes lead to irritation the encapsulated process addresses this irritation factor by creating a timed relapse effect this makes it easier for the skin to absorb and ensure gradual continuous exposure delivering optimum results so basically retinol can be irritating on the skin but since it is an encapsulated form of retinol it's not going to be that's what my conclusion was after reading all of that so i'm gonna quickly share my experience with this and then i'll talk about how i've been using this right now in my skincare routine so when i started using this i was using this every single day um, and I think I was using a little bit too much because I read all of this encapsulated thing and I was like, yeah, it's not going to irritate my skin at all. That's what my uh, assumption was about this product. And so I started using this every single day. And I again, I was using a little too much, I guess. And I'm sure I was not just using this. I was moisturizing my skin on all of that. But my skin around my nose, like this area and also the corner of my mouth had become extremely dry, almost flaky. Like my skin was flaking off. And so I realized that it, it was this product that was doing that to my skin. So I stopped using it every single day. So now what I do is that instead of using this every single day on my skin, I use this um, on alternate days. And it's like a very lightweight, very, oh, it smells really good by the way. It's a very good smelling um, um, serum. It's nothing overpowering. Also about the ultra hydrating part of it. I'm not sure why that happened to me. I mean, it is hydrating when you put this on your skin. Your skin does feel very plump. You do wake up with very plump skin. But I think it's the retinol part of it which irritated my skin a little bit. So be a little careful with that. Now coming to the results, I feel like this has been doing wonders on my skin. It's the first time that I'm talking great things about a product like a skincare product like this my t-zone especially does not get congested all that much also i feel like it has reduced my acne marks um quite a bit because if you do go ahead and watch my um video where i shared my haircut horror story you would know like you you can see there that i still had like my skin was clear but i still had like pretty evident acne marks in that video but now if you see my skin ever since i've started using this my skin tone has become quite even my acne marks also seem to have reduced but that also could be because of another product that i've been recently using which i'll come to this in a bit that is something that i've been uh, using off lately and this has been working out great now again don't just use this 
go ahead with your moisturizer now for moisturizer i don't really have like a proper solid suggestion i can only share what i've been using lately so i have been using the replenishing uh, rich moisturizer from um, simple and then i had been also using this a vitamin E moisturizer from Good Vibes that's also a very good one it like gets absorbed immediately but i completely ran out of it so i don't know where the product is right now but that's also a very good moisturizer to pair up with something like this and also uh, the chia seed moisturizer i got this when i bought one of the i think yavadam's uh, sleeping mask and so i've been using this off lately and that's pretty much it that i do for day 1 now just for the purpose of the video i did show you in the clip uh, me using both of these moisturizers so the simple one gets absorbed very quickly and it does not leave like a very shiny glossy finish to your skin however the chia seed one um like takes a little bit of time it's more on the lotiony side whereas this one the simple one is on the creamy side and the chia seed one definitely leaves your skin very very glossy looking it leaves your skin very like like supple and very hydrated looking but again that does not mean that any of these are better than the other i'm just telling you how or what sort of an effect you get from these moisturizers now of lately i've been also including a sleeping mask in my routine but i just don't want to talk about it in this video because i do have a separate video coming for that one now apart from all of this if i do have like very evident dark acne marks uh i do go ahead and use the green tea matcha face pack as my spot treatment uh again if you have watched my how i cleared my skin video you would know that i do not like to use like a special product for it because i do feel like even though those work a little like quicker they do leave your skin a little irritated and the marks look even darker i don't know i just feel that way but this one does not do that If you see these marks in this clip of mine, uh, I broke out from trying out something which I'll I'll have a video on it very soon, so don't worry about that. So these like the these are like the new marks that I had, uh, and so I'm treating those with the green tea matcha face pack over here in this clip. I I just go ham sometimes, like even if I have like very teeny tiny bumps, I just you know use it as a spot treatment. Um, just seal the deal and go to bed so that was my very extensive uh, long explanation and a quick review for this product now on the day 2 i altogether skip these products so i do not use any product with active ingredients because i feel like my skin needs like a break uh, and it has been working out for me my skin does not feel uh, dry or irritated when i follow this pattern and which is why i do not use any of these the second day uh, so i just go ahead and cleanse my skin again double again again double cleansing i cannot speak double cleansing toning and moisturizing with the same products that i just showed you now coming to the third day instead of using the retinol serum i replace it with vitamin c serum so i use every single product that i used on day 1 and day 2 but instead of this i just use this and you guys have watched i'm sure you guys have watched the comparison of this one versus the scent botnica one and i genuinely really like this and this is the one that i've been using and i mean you can tell because like it's 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 empty i feel like there's just a little bit of it left and now that i've been using this very regularly it makes more sense to me to buy something which comes in smaller quantity because the vitamin c serum does uh, oxidize very quickly and very easily no matter how um, well you are keeping it even if you are keeping these in dark places this does oxidize very quickly i'm going to show you so if it turns yellow i'm i don't know if you can see that but if it turns yellow it has oxidized and it's probably not going to work the same way as it works when it's not oxidized if that makes any sense and again it does not irritate my skin because i do follow it up with a good moisturizer and then i again give my skin a break the very next day i have been following this pattern because this is the pattern that works for me um i feel like if i use any of these ingredients on a daily basis my skin does get a little irritated no matter how well i'm moisturizing my skin or um how thick or thin of a moisturizer i'm using so this is a pattern that works out for me again i'm not 
here to tell you that you should be following the same pattern because of course your skin may or may not handle these products on an everyday basis so this is something that you should try out and see what works for you what does not work for you uh, if you really can use these products on a daily basis or you should give a break like i'm doing it so this is something that you have to work around and see what works for your skin what your skin is telling you what you should be doing for your skin so that's just up to you but this is what i've been doing pretty much and these two are the products like new products that i've been i have inculcated in my skincare routine and these products have really helped me in getting my skin like to the point where it is right now like i can go out without having a pinch of base on my skin like i have that confidence right now with my skin and i totally um, give the credit to these two products so um yeah i thought like why not just include the review of this product in this video itself instead of doing a separate review you know i hope that this video finally sums up what i've been doing for my skin and i am not going to make any more skincare videos um anytime soon because that's all that I've been doing for my skin and there's no more secret. That's pretty much it you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Also, if you do try, try, if you do try these products, let me know how these worked out for you. And um, I do get comments here and there saying uh, a lot of you guys tried this Jeva serum and it has been working out great for you. And that really makes me happy. So uh, yeah, anyways, I should shut my mouth. I have been talking a lot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.